Hey, what's up everybody? This is David here. We're back with another episode of The Roundup where we give you what you want to hear in entertainment news. Marvel's Daredevil is officially dropped on Netflix. So it goes without saying, I know exactly what you guys are going to be doing this weekend. If you don't know Daredevil, it follows the story of attorney Matt Murdock who, after an accident as a kid, is blinded but then gifted with heightened senses. Murdoch sets up his practice in his old neighborhood of Hell's Kitchen, New York City, where he fights crime by day as a lawyer and by night as a mass vigilante. I've seen the show and I have to say that it is a big change from what we're used to seeing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's dark and it's full of action and it's actually a lot more grounded than what we've seen in something like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Marvel set out to create a street level hero that completely separates itself from the likes of the Avengers and they've accomplished that fantastically. They serve up Daredevil in a Batman like fashion just without all the tech and I think in doing that they'll make him a lot more identifiable with people. I will warn you though, if you binge watch too fast you're going to be sitting there twiddling your thumbs hating yourself because it's over and of course you're going to be wanting more. Believe me, you're going to be wanting more. But what are you waiting for? Go check out Daredevil streaming now on Netflix. News of the Suicide Squad film has been dropping almost daily. From Jared Leto cutting his hair to him allegedly using his Joker voice to subdue hecklers at the 30 Seconds to Mars show to this. And this. Okay, fine. It's actually more Joker news than anything. But we actually got something interesting the other day. Director David Ayer posted a photo from the table read that actually features the whole cast, except Jared Leto, of the Suicide Squad. There you have it. Sink it in. I'll give you a minute. Alright, the film actually looks like it's shaping up to be a pretty fun one. I know there's people out there that aren't too familiar with the group, so I'll go ahead and put some links down below for you to check out. I think DC is actually counting on the unfamiliarity of the group, so that way they have a little bit of creative wiggle room the way Marvel did with Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, it's a smart move, if you ask me. It's risky, but smart. I mean, it has me intrigued about the whole project and wondering how they're going to connect it with Batman v Superman. I still can't get used to saying V. Filming begins soon for the supervillain team-up with an eye release date of August 5th, 2016. So until then, get ready for some more weird pictures and videos from Jared Leto. He's crazy. Ever since True Detective premiered, we've been hooked on everything about it and waiting for any sort of update from season two. We've gotten a brief summary and a list of actors that include Colin Farrell, Vince Vaughn, Rachel McAdams, and Taylor Kitsch. I mean, already with that list, I was sold and completely excited. And what people can't help but wonder is, how will it be able to top season one? Well, this newly released trailer gives us a taste. Let's check out a quick clip. Holy shit, that was amazing. And that song from Lara Lynn, I mean, that's just as chilling as the one from season one. You see that feral stash? It's like a push boom of awesomeness on his upper lip. Details are still a little vague on what we should expect, but you better believe that everybody's going to be watching when True Detective returns June 21st on HBO. Are you binge watching Daredevil right now? What do you think of the show so far? How do you feel about Suicide Squad? And what about your Detective Season 2? Are you going to be watching it live, or are you going to just be DVRing it? Let me know in the comments below. Click on Little Daredevil to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up while you're there. And if you can, please share the hell out of this video. It's much appreciated. Thanks for watching another episode of The Roundup. We'll catch you next time.